Kulingana na katibu mkuu wa Wizara ya Nyumba na Maendeleo ya Mijini Charles Hinga, bei ya juu ya ardhi ni moja wapo ya changamoto kuu zinazokabili mpango wa nyumba za bei nafuu. So we have a plan because we have an annual demand of 250,000 houses a year. Unfortunately, we are only able to produce 50,000 every year. We are discussing on what should be done to make sure that these buildings that are collapsing left, right and center and especially in Kiambu and Nairobi what should be done and we have tasked them uh, to give us a report uh, on what they are planning to do because we cannot continue losing uh, lives and then when you ask them they blame the contractor after you blame the contractor you blame the engineer then the engineer when you ask the engineer you blame the fundi i mean any building that collapses in any area that engineer who was overseeing that uh, uh, project should have their license cancelled hinga anasema kuwa wamegundua sehemu mbalimbali za ardhi ambazo kwa sasa ziko chini ya idara ya magereza ili kutumika katika mradi huo wa mabilioni kujenga nyumba ama vyumba vya bei nafuu that we are accommodating criminals in the most prime area because our prisons sit on the most prime area Is it true or false? Committee is very in your constituency honorable chair. That's very prime area. We have four prisons in Nairobi. Industrial area, we have both Langata men and women and we have Nairobi West. You go to every major town, Shimolatewa, Thika town, Roiro, the prisons are inside. Kilifi. Kilifi. <laughs> Nakuru. And you know they sit on a lot of land. In Kitale It is basically a glut because that town cannot grow as long as that prison is there. So and we have not built a prison since independence. So I think honorable members it is high time we start building prisons and we move criminals far away from the urban areas. Kulingana na hinga kufikia sasa kaunti tisa zimetoa ardhi ambapo jumla ya nyumba 1055 zitajengwa. How much land is occupied by all these ASK showgrounds for an event that we only have once a year for three or four days? Isn't it time to have a serious conversation? If it's a trade fair, we can take it far away. We don't need to have Jamhuri showground in Jamhuri Park. You have the biggest slum. We can take that land and redevelop it and free up that land and redevelop it. In this country the reason why the values of land are going up is not because there's anything special we're doing it's because people are holding land Hinga amehusisha baadhi ya changamoto zinazokabili sekta ya ujenzi ni kodi kubwa na sheria za zamani ambazo zinahitaji kufanyiwa marekebisho Seneta wa Kiambu anapendekeza kuwa leseni za wahandisi na wanakandarasi wote wanaohusishwa na majengo yaliyoporomoka zifutiliwe mbali lazima kuangaliwe juu ya vile tunaweza kuruhusu nyumba kujengwa bila kutumia ustadi wa kisawasawa ili tuweze kuokoa maisha ya wakenya and we are going to support you in this uh, that we should not allow any form of corruption of approvals for houses which are not uh, qualified to be built without proper structures let's do the malaysia way if you are holding land after a period of time we start taxing you on what is called idle land tax so instead of taxing payroll payroll vat so much let's go tax those people who are holding land and they're not using it and when you want to buy it we have to pay a premium to use it Sounds radical but that's how progressive nations have addressed it. Nikripotia Runinga ya Ebru. Mimi ni Ode Francis.